제 137회 신이 나더라고요. 안녕하세요. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Be Korean. I'm your host Lisa Kelly and next to me is my good friend and our guide to the Korean language. Stephen Revere, that's my name. Thank you. 안녕하세요. I'm Stephen Revere. I'll be coaching you guys as we talk today about the performance that Lisa and I went to right after she made my coffee for me. If you were watching the other day, you would have caught that. <laughs> But anyway, here's our two students. 안녕하세요. 네오미입니다. 안녕하세요. 레이입니다. And you guys, guess what? Uh, on this wow. cold winter, here, look at that, I got some green koguma for you. That's oh, still really oh, hot, so be careful. Grilled sweet potatoes there. That's right. Oh, oh. And here's some shikhe, if you pass that along. Shikhe is the uh, traditional Korean rice. Uh, <laughs> you win, you. Oh. Huh? Well, it's not thug, it's, it's kung koguma and shikhe. Oh, I know, the, <laughs> the expression is wen thug you. Yeah. We say that expression when we learned, when did he say, oh, before? This expression is, Oh, where did this come from? What is the occasion for such a nice right. thing to be delivered? Thug is traditional Korean rice cake, and usually uh, when you have a grand opening or if you're celebrating something, Koreans usually order up a whole bunch of thok and send them on over to the neighbors and your friends. So it has a meaning of uh, representing good luck. So hence you say, when thok yeo. Okay, let's go on to our situation. Wrap it up with Lisa and Steven. 공연은 어땠어요? 정말 신이 나더라고요. 관객들 호응도 대단했어요. 사물 놀이에서 시작한 공연이라고 해요. 아, 정말? So, are you guys enjoying your shikhe? Yeah, sure. It tastes pretty good? It's really yeah. good. It's real sweet and nice. Okay, well, let's go straight into our dialogue. The first sentence, I guess they just got finished watching a performance of some kind. So Lisa says, 공연은 어땠어요? How was the performance? Let's put that down and start teaching. <laughs> oh, that's very delicious, right? And I'm a little surprised about how good it is. Oh, 맛있더라고요. We heard in the expressions, the first, the second line, he starts out with, 정말 신이 나더라고요. And what happens here? 정말 means really. 신이 나다. Here's a great expression for you. When you get excited and you really enjoy something, you say, oh, 신이 나. Okay, I, from now on, you, when you're out and you're having a really good time, oh, you go, oh, 신이 나네. All right, you're surprised. You add at the end. You're surprised at the fact that you're having such a good time right now. Here, you're talking about after the performance. The performance is all over. I've explained to you before that doll involves something, a little bit of reflection, something that happened in the past. So right here, 신이 나더라고요 means I had such a good time before. You're talking about something in the past with this expression. Very nice. 신이 나. And let's clarify, when you're speaking this, very few people say 신이 나다. Okay, they take out the E altogether and say 신나다 or 신이 나더라고, 신나더라고요. Okay, so you can take out the E and that just makes it shorter and easier to pronounce. And it's really hard to put all these words together, so let's practice this. Yes. And one, one more okay. thing, I want yeah. to throw one really quick. This one, when you put it in the low form, you drop the go yo. You don't just drop the yo. You say, oh, 신이 나더라. Okay? When you're talking in the low form, and you'll hear women say this all the time. <laughs> women like, oh, 잘생겼더라. <laughs> right? uh, referring to you? What, what might you be? Oh, I occasionally hear, but not often, no. 잘생겼더라. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's really good looking. Right? Anyways, back to the uh, uh, pronunciation here. Okay. 정말 신 나더라고요. 정말 신나더라고요. 정말 신나더라고요. Now to finish off that statement that Stephen was saying, 관객들 호응도 대단했어요. 관객 is the audience. 호응 is their 반응, their reaction, reaction right? Yes. 대단했어요. And It was applause, great. Right? Fantastic. There applause. Right. Mm. Okay. And Lisa continues on. 사물놀이에서 시작한 공연이라고 해요. 라고 해요. This sounds really familiar, right? Yeah, probably because you've learned this as a way to introduce yourself. Often when I want to introduce myself to someone, mm. I will say, oh, 저는 스티븐이라고 해요. Which uh, directly translated means, I am called Stephen, right? I And my name is Stephen is the uh, regular translation. And then, 사물놀이에서 시작한 공연. That is another noun. 
Remember, irago heo has to go with nouns. If there's a pachim, you leave the e in the middle. Gongyeon irago heo. Okay, and Samulori is the traditional Korean musical uh, band, and they're saying it it started from there or it mm -hmm. derived from there that uh, performance. And Stephen ends the sentence of saying, Ah, Chungma? Ah, Chungma? We said this in the beginning of our Let's Be Korean. Oh, you'll hear this all the time. Chungma mm -hmm. means, Oh, really? Right? They say it started from Samunori, Nori, and of course, you're a little surprised. Oh, I had no idea. Pretty much. Someone know he's just banging on stuff, and right. Nanta's banging on stuff too. So I, I, right. can, I can see where they would say that Koreans would be good at that. Yeah. Okay. And since we would use Chongmai so often, there are similar words we can use in place of that. You don't always want to say Chongmai, Chongmai, Chongmai. That would get pretty boring. Okay. So you can say Ah, Jinja. Is that true? Is that so? Jinja. Or Kurongaya. Is that so? Or Chongmaria. Let's try these. Jinja. Kurongaya. Chongmaria. 진짜 그런 거야 정말이야. Very good. 아 진짜 아 그런 거야 아 정말. Uh, okay, 정말 is good too. 아 진짜 아 그런 거야 아 정말이야. Very nice. Okay, let's go on to Korean Insight. Korean Insight. Okay, here's our Konglish word for today. It's eye shopping. Okay, and what this literally means is window shopping. And Koreans, they didn't know the word for window shopping, so they just put two and two together. Okay, you're just looking with your eyes, but you're not buying. So they started calling it eye shopping. Eye shopping, window shopping. Okay, and you can say this in another way. If someone says, oh, can I help you? You can say, oh, 그냥 eye shopping 하고 있어요. Instead, you can say, 구경하고 있어요. I'm just taking a look. I'm just looking around. 구경하고 있어요. But I also noticed that a lot of Koreans are, are have heard that this is not really typical right. English. So now some Koreans are using window shopping as well. And when you make that into a verb, you would say window shopping. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go and wrap up what we've learned so far. Let's take it away, Steve. Okay. Our whole dialogue <laughs> starts out with uh, asking about how the performance was, right? 공연은 어땠어요? Then it's followed up with 정말 신이 나더라고요. And then we follow that one up with some difficult vocabulary. 관객들, that is the audience. And then 호응도, also their reaction, right? 대단했어요. It was very amazing. And if you go to this sort of performance, you know the audience really gets into it because they're pounding and banging and it's a very exciting performance. Then we, found, we find out about where this performance came from, and it's a traditional Korean performance, right? Samunori. And, 시작한 공연이라고 해요. Somebody told me that this performance started from Samunori. Wow. So, what a great summary, Steve. Thank you. Steven, she. Summary do, summary do. Thank you, thank okay. you very much. All right, amazing. All right, let's go on and see what we learned today through the flash animation. 공연은 어땠어요? 정말 신이 나더라고요. 관객들 호응도 대단했어요. 사물놀이에서 시작한 공연이라고 해요. 아 정말? 네, 정말 오늘 열심히 하더라고요. You guys did a really great job. Can you each make a sentence for me with 더라고요? 명동에는 사람들이 정말 많더라고요. That's right. There were many people in Myeongdong. 감사합니다. 식혜가 맛있더라고요. Oh, you're very welcome, 천문에. Okay, Steve, you want to make one for me too? 정말 짜증내더라고요. I'm 황당하잖아요. I don't know what to say. That's fine. He said a sentence for us. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you for joining us, and we'll see you back here next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. See you next time.